Right, here we are. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I've uploaded stuff. Um, we've been, we've had stuff on holiday, and at the same time, uh, we've been, at, we've had trial lists, and we've taken some new people on. So <laughs> I've been plugging holes all over the place. Um, I'm going to remove the backlight today on two iPhone sevens. I've got two seven G C three F screens here. They're already refurbished. They just need new backlights. Um, for various reasons that can be the white dots this one looks water damaged so it's probably going to have um you know the water marks that you get on the silver foil on the back um and this black one i ran this one today and the touch id doesn't work afterwards so it's that flex there the new backlights that we use they've got um they're they're sort of complete refurbished panels so that flex is replaced as well so that'll, that'll sort that um so i've got my heat mat set to Anywhere between where it's around, anywhere around 80 is good. Mm, I think this is set to 83.7, but that'll be fine. Okay, let's have a look. Now, I normally use a little scalpel blade, but um, I don't know where I've put it. So I have a, <laughs> a sort of um, electrician's tiny, small, flathead screwdriver. It's a bit bigger than I'd like, but it will do the job. So it's on the heat mat, just let it warm up a little bit. The reason I've got two screens is, uh, I use two types of liquid. I actually, I use lighter fluid normally. However, I ran out of this the other day, and I used acetone, because I've used isopropyl before and it's not great. Um, I used acetone just because it was there next to me. Uh, and it brings the black glue off a lot cleaner. Um, so, yeah going to show one of each today so I'm going to snip the backlight flex there now the way I'm going to show you this now this can be done on all oh, a second. Uh, this can be done on iPhone 7 or uh, sorry 6s or above um, all the LCD models so that's nice and warm now I'm going to get the light fluid in that corner, in that corner, in that corner. Now it's important that you get all the corners because the last thing you want to do when lifting this is pull up the mirror polarizer on the back or damage the flex at the top. I'll show you that as I remove this. So I'm going to lift this in one corner and then bring it over to here. If you can see from the side of the I'm going to wiggle it side to side so it comes clean. Then I'm going to slide it towards me. I'm not going to lift it because if I lift it and it angles at the top it can damage that flex. Right, so that's the backlight off. It's got a couple of layers left. So we'll get rid of you. This is the last layer here. So pick that in the corner and be careful not to get the mirror polarizer that's underneath it. Now if I didn't use liquid on this, if I just used heat, as this black adhesive comes off, it can pull part of the mirror polarizer with it and that damages the mirror polarizer. Now that's replaceable. You can re-laminate it in the YMJ. You, I mean, you could re-roll it with a special thin roller, but honestly, it's a pain in the ass to do. It takes time, and I've got a stack of them, which I'm probably never gonna actually redo. So the whole time you're doing this, you wanna be careful because this mirror polarizer just on the back here, um, this is, I mean, it's similar to the front polarizer. If you were to mark this and then like scratch it and then put a new backlight on, it would be vis visible on the final screen. So, there we go. This is so much easier with my little scalpel. Now at the top here, this black adhesive has got sort of, you can see the light grey, thicker stuff try and pull that first because it comes independent. Now up here is the flex, the flex cable for the display. That's very, very delicate, very delicate. If you damage, here we go, that light gray bit's coming, you see that? And it should double back on itself. Oh, I it didn't. We should be able to pull this like the iPhone battery all terms. Uh, yeah, that flex, if you damage that flex at the top, um, in, in the corners, it's very delicate. But if you damage it anywhere at the top there, you yeah, I mean, you're going to get touch issues, you're going to get display issues, you're, you're going to touch your display during that. Right, 
roller last little bit off. We're going on that black adhesive. This screen was water damaged, so it wasn't the greatest example to give. Um, but you get the idea of it. it. It came off sort of in small parts. So that's that one done. And I've written on the front of it 7G C3F so that I know when I come to fit the backlight, which will not be today. So this time, I'm going to use the acetone. And then under here, if you haven't done this before, you've got a little bit of black tape here, I'll just remove. And we've got four small little solder joints. So when you get the new backlight, the new backlight has got um, it's a new flex that goes along here, and you just you remove this one and you resolder the, the new one. So that's getting nice and warm there now. Now I should have a nice little syringe or something, um, but I don't. So I'm going to wing it with, with this. Great. So that's the top bit done. That's the flex side done. Now I'm going to start again from this corner. And just lift the metal frame up like that. Again, side to side here. Wiggle, wiggle and pull towards me. Done. Beautiful. Now we're left with this last, last little lay here now. now if this is anything like my last ones, watch as I pull this, that black adhesive, you see that? It doesn't break and come off in small little crap parts. He says as it breaks twice. What's the right side? It generally comes off a lot cleaner. Comes off a lot cleaner in bigger parts. I actually think I prefer doing it with the acetone, you know. Right, that says three edges done. Now what I'm not going to do after this is um, clean it and fit the back lights. But what I would do for that is, I would put it in the laminar flow cabinet or the dust-free area, which whatever dust-free area you've got. Um, I'd use acetone and a white lint-free cloth, and I would clean the back, the back of the mirror polarizer. Now the edges where the black adhesive was, as long as that is not encroaching on the display area, you don't need to get that perfect. I mean, any clumps of glue obviously remove, but it does not need to be perfect whatsoever. The new backlights have got black adhesive around the edges, so you'd clean it up. Once it's nice and clean, you would peel the plastic protective layer off the new backlight, and then you place it on the back of this screen, and it would be uh, you then solder it, and it would be sort of it'd look it'd look normal again. Just roll this last little bit off. Be careful of the flex; don't put too much pressure on it. There you go. That's just a little bit of there. Cool. You see the flex is all good. There. So they're ready for new backlights now.